A South Jordan family is in shock and is mourning, losing their son and brother in a horrific accident this weekend. The head-on collision was one of two that happened separately and within hours apart, leaving three people dead. New specialist Dan Rascone joins us live with that story. Dan, a close family here with a lot of support. Yeah, that's for sure. You know, this family is very, being a lot of support from the community and also family members. Now, 35-year-old Kaho Fia Fia, he's one of five children. And right now, the family finding comfort and healing through music, something Kaho really loved. I the Fia Fia family finding strength and comfort in the best way they know how through music singing both in English and in Tongan. Something they say their son and brother, 35-year-old Kaho Fia Fia, would have wanted them to do. He would always be found either with a guitar or on the piano, writing and, and expressing his feelings, his emotions. Kaho was killed in this horrific head-on collision with a semi-truck late Saturday night in Magna, along SR-202 near I-80 in Salt Air. 20-year-old Victoria Thompson, who was with him, also lost her life. His two sisters. Heartbreak, um, a lot of sadness at this time. We're in pain, we're hurting. And two brothers. We did everything together. I'm in pain. Trying to deal with the loss. Yep, it hurts. There was always five of us. And now there's only four. But the legacy Kaho has left is keeping them going. It was always an honor for me to be mistaken as my brother because he was such um, a light to other people. People loved him. The relationships that he had with his nieces and nephews um, are bar none. He acted as a second father, another, another ear um, that would listen and help guide them through life. He was full of life. He, he loved being with people. He was so loving. And so they sing in honor of Kaho. It's kind of carried us through hard times. And have comfort in knowing that though we've lost the brother, that we will see him again and he will rise again. Yeah, pretty incredible family that's really trying to stay strong at this time. Funeral arrangements are still pending right now as to when that will take place.